Well, good evening, everybody. I uh, I didn't actually have a video planned for this evening. I'm, uh, I'm actually just working on some some regular orders. So here here's some June Bug Purple uh, Cinco's right there. I think that's a really pretty color. Basically, um, I've uh, I've kind of started using just straight black grape for my June Bug recipe now that. Lure Works has changed uh, their their June bug colorant, and uh, I think black grape really gives it a good look. So I'm just making some cinco's and uh, burning my fingers in the process. Cinco molds just get so hot. Up, oh, that one didn't work. That one didn't work either. Jeez. But uh, yeah, cinco molds get pretty hot. You know, the the base real thick, and it with that salt in there, it it actually takes them longer to cool down. Here's a, here's a pretty interesting idea. I took the June Bug Purple and I added some big silver flake to it. Check that out. What can I call that? It's like June Bug Big Silver. It's uh, really, really cool. And uh, the idea I had was I wanted this to be really visible um, to the fish. I wanted, them, I wanted it to be really, I wanted it to stand out uh, amongst all the other things that, that they see uh, on a week by week basis, but um, yeah, just making some things tonight. I'll show you what I've been working on real quick So here are some things that I'm working on obviously the the Cinco's that I just showed you I have some June bug purple candy cane juniors regular June bug candy cane juniors June bug savvies I'm, uh, I'm actually still finishing up the skink order from the other night um, I actually have not finished that one. I just need to uh, mix up the rest of the goodies. So uh, not a whole lot of variety here, basically just a bunch of June bug. But um, my Cinco molds were getting so hot, I kinda had a funny idea, and that's what I wanted to do in this video. Give me a few minutes, and uh, I wanna see if my crazy little theory works. So after shooting a couple rounds of just some various leftover Cinco's here, your Cinco molds get super duper duper hot. In fact, let's take a look here. 127 degrees. That's pretty hot, wouldn't you say? Well, let's see if that is hot enough to cook an egg. Woo, golly. All right, we're gonna set the eggs down here. And, I mean, sorry, we're gonna set the molds down. Jeez Louise. All right, we've got us, got us an egg here. Woo, that is pretty hot. Let's see what happens. Let's see if uh, here in a few minutes, it'll cook it on up. Oh, get the camera on in here. Yeah, let's really get it spread out. Give it a couple minutes and see if it'll see if it'll start setting up, which I think it is already. I mean, that is just incredibly hot. Let's take a look, or uh, let's let's keep looking. It's it's definitely starting to whiten up in some areas. I mean, it is it is incredible how hot your molds get so you know it's just kind of a this is just a fun goofy uh demonstration a to see if it'll work but b always wear your gloves uh because your molds literally can can kind of cook an egg it's starting to set up right there check that out so you know, we we might could scramble these things a little bit i mean this stuff is hot ladies and gentlemen but we're gonna let it sit there for a few minutes and uh, and then we'll get back with you tell you what they're setting up pretty good so we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and uh, season them with with a little bit of black pepper yeah always like a little bit of uh, black pepper on my eggs kind of yeah tell you what that's that's uh <clears throat> eggs over easy right there it is uh, set up 
it's cooked in several places. Scrambled eggs. And the thing about it is, those those eggs are warm. I mean, that's those eggs are hot. That's that's no longer uh, a cold egg right out of the fridge. <laughs> this is the dumbest thing I've ever done. I uh, just figured I would kind of do something silly. You know, I I was out here making these cinco's, and I was like. You know, Cinco molds just get hotter than the other ones, and I think it's because I add salt, and I just, I think the salt holds the heat longer. And I was like, you know what? I wonder if these will cook or partially cook an egg. Uh, I've never tried anything like this, and uh, so the idea just hit me, and I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to film that. So, uh, but now I get to clean up this mess and get back to work. Yeah, guys, definitely don't try this at home. I mean, I have got just burnt egg, overcooked eggs stuck all to my molds. And I mean, that there's probably egg inside the mold. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at those egg Cinco's. Yep. Well, I think I just cornered the market with a new scent. Oh, yuck. All right, everybody, so now that the really stupid cooking uh, is over with, cooking eggs on bait molds, we're actually cooking fish tonight. And uh, this is one of my favorite recipes. It's really, really simple. We're doing fish tacos. And uh, here I have some fish fillets. And yes, it's largemouth bass. I do eat bass. You can eat bass too. It's not the end of the world. Just stay within your limits and we're all good. Um, there's no reason to crucify me, but um, yeah, you know, any anytime I get some uh, get get some small keepers and I feel like cleaning them, bass is my favorite fish, other than speckled perch and flathead catfish. So we're just gonna start by putting a little uh, fish rub on our meat, and um, you can obviously make it super spicy or super not spicy. My wife does not like spicy. So I have to be careful with what I'm doing here. But um, yeah, you know, a little bit of fish rub, salt and pepper. So here's, here's a little bit of pepper and uh, definitely some salt. All right, and then I always like to saute fish in olive oil because it is the healthier choice for heart patients like me. So we're just gonna go ahead and get a nice bit of olive oil in here. And basically, we're just gonna pan simmer those fish. And uh, another part of the uh, taco recipe is a little homemade salsa. So this is um, uh, scallions, tomatoes, and, um, and then obviously some red onions, chopped up very fine. And then we actually cut up some orange and then we're gonna squeeze some orange juice in it, which um, just gives it a nice, nice liquid texture. So we'll, we'll probably do a little more squeezing here in just a minute, but uh, I'm gonna let the fish start cooking, then I'll meet you back. Also, I like to go with a sun-dried tomato tortilla. And uh, I mean, really, these are more like fish burrito things, really, than fish tacos. But I always like to microwave these to get them nice and warm. And then I just lay my fish in it, cover it in salsa, wrap it up, and I'm done. Some people, you know, put other things on there, cheese, whatever. I just go fish and salsa, and, uh, and it works pretty well. All right, if we look at here, I can just touch it, and it's just flaking in half. So we are pretty much done. All right, ladies and gents, we are done. I have my heated tortilla here. So I'm just gonna kind of put the fish in there, flake it out a little bit. Looking good, looking good. Oh yeah, just a little bit more. And then we're gonna take the salsa here. Yes, sir. It's gonna be good, babe. And that's all she wrote for me. All right. Needs to be more spicy. 
of that is a delicious and healthy way to cook fish, whether you're doing uh, snapper or catfish or just whatever, whatever your deal is, you don't always have to fry it. Mmm. So, it's definitely better than mold cooked eggs. Anyway, kind of a goofy episode tonight. I'll be, I'll be back with some regular content later on this week. Thanks for tuning in. Catch you next time, guys.